Hey guys, so if you're like me, you might have a lot of drums, a lot of cymbals. I know when I'm in the studio and I'm recording for real, I like to make sure I mic up as much stuff as I can. That way in post, I have more options. I can make sure things are sitting in the mix just right. Well, as part of that, I like to mic up my ride and my hi-hat. And today I've picked up a new pair of microphones. These are the AKG C451s. And I'm gonna do a three part review for you. This is gonna be the first video in that review. And I'm gonna look at using these microphones for this specific purpose, for direct miking the hi-hat and ride. So in this video, the first part, we're gonna focus on how the hi-hat and the ride sound in isolation so when we're micing just those up and we're not playing back anything else except for those two sources and we'll compare the isolation sound versus just the overhead sounds and then we'll blend them together so you can kind of hear how those direct sounds add in uh, but before we get into that uh, let's first talk about why mic the ride and hi-hat and why these microphones so a long time ago, I used to not mic up the hi-hat and ride. I used to just do overhead mics. And it was fine, but what I found was that in post, I tended to push the, the overhead channels up more. I really kind of pushed them up a lot more than I would want to. And the reason was because I just couldn't quite get the hi-hat and ride in there. So as far as why these microphones, the C451s, well, if you look at the uh, product reviews on these things and even the specs from AKG, they really emphasize these as being really good cymbal mics. Now, I wanna make sure that I got the terminology here right. They're not calling these out as really good overheads. They're calling these out as really good cymbal mics, like, like direct cymbal miking. And I'm sure these are probably pretty good for uh, overheads as well, but I have uh, I have better overheads than these and I really want to focus on this direct miking uh, Situation that I got going on here. So as you probably guessed these microphones are cardioid uh, They have a lift in the higher frequency range. So they start to go up about 5k uh, They peak about 10k then they start to drop at 15k and then they come back to zero at 20k so there's got a, a little bit of a higher end lift there. Uh, so it should make the cymbal sound a little bit brighter. That's as opposed to the overheads that I'm using. These are Earthworks TC30. So these are omnidirectional and they're incredibly flat. So they're not really emphasizing higher end frequencies. You know, it's, it's very flat. I'm, so I'm expecting that when I start to blend in the hi-hat and the ride, I'm not just gonna be making things a little bit louder. I'm gonna make those sources a little bit brighter as well. But we'll, we'll hear how that sounds or how much that's the case uh, in a bit. These microphones also have some settings on them. The first is a pad roll off. There's a zero dB, so if the pad is off, then a 10 dB uh, attenuation, and then a 20 dB attenuation. I can tell you that when I was setting up for this video and I was just doing some quick levels, uh, I found that when I was hitting the ride, like if I was really digging into it, I was actually clipping the source. So if I had the, the gain on the preamp all the way down, I was still clipping. For the hi-hat with the gain all the way down, uh, it's a little bit further away, but I was still getting about minus six dB. So for purposes of this video, I set the, uh, the pad roll off at the minus 10, so that in-between setting. These microphones also have high pass filters on them and the high pass filters will be the focus on the second video in this series. For this video, I'm leaving the high pass filters off. So we're not doing any sort of low end roll off. So let's jump into the sound samples. We're gonna actually switch through three different things. So first you'll hear the symbol in isolation, right? It'll be just the hi-hat mic or just the ride mic. Then I'll throw in the uh, overheads and take out the hi-hat mic. That way you can kind of hear how the hi-hat sounds in isolation versus how it sounds in the overheads. And then it'll be the full mix. Now, usually when I blend these things in post, I'm a little bit reserved as far as what the hi-hat 
and the ride levels are, but for purposes of this demo, I'm gonna push them up a bit. I'm gonna have them be a bit more hot. On the playback, there won't be any EQ or compression on either the overheads or the direct symbol miking. There will be on the snare and on the bass. Uh, as far as preamps, the Earthworks are going through a design Pacifica for the preamps and the two direct symbol miking, those two mics are just gonna be going through my stock Motu preamps.
So I hope you guys found that useful. I hope it kind of shows how much you can help balance out the uh, hi-hat and the ride in your mix when you're using direct miking on, on those two sources. Uh, like I said, this is the first of three videos on these reviews. Second part is going to be on the high pass filters and how much that impacts the sound and how it plays into the mix. And the third video is going to be comparing these mics compared to cheaper AKG mics. So, you know, from the same family, but less expensive ones because these are more expensive microphones and you'll probably want to know, is it worth the money? The, the videos for those will be available in the description below. Also, don't forget to subscribe because when those new videos get released, you'll get notified right away.